Hello, my name is Matthew C. Applegate. I am a researcher doing my master's degree at the Centre for Design Innovation at University Campus Suffolk. For my second year modules, Research Methods and Reflective Practice, I decided to design a piece of software which was outside of my usual remit of musical software for users already engaged and interested in chiptune music. I decided to create a piece of music educational software for the novice musician. The idea came about after visiting a local school and giving a talk on how I create different sounds for my music. At the end of the presentation, I offered the eight-year-old students a chance to have a go on the, either the circuit bent keyboard or the Nintendo DS running my custom-made music software. The students all lined up behind a Nintendo DS, and when asked why no one wanted to play on the music keyboard, the answer was that they did not know how to play on a piano and therefore did not want to perform on it in public. Using this cultural distinction, I set about designing simple rhythm-based music software that relied on participants playing in groups. Using Samba as a template, it allowed the parts to be individually simple and collectively complex. The idea of the software was to allow for a means of group musical performance beyond that of their current music abilities, and lowering the entry point into the world of musical experience. The notation was based on the now ubiquitous and generic music sim software such as Guitar Hero, Rock Band and the Dance Dance Revolution series. And again, the programming was outside of my normal practice of instrument design and required a considerable amount of effort to visually design and program. Replacing the static notation of traditional western music with animated visual cues allowed for more kinesthetic learning and hand-eye coordination instead of traditional method of learning notation prior to performance. The software was programmed in the free programming language processing developed by MIT which allows for multi-platform compatibility which will be essential when the software is to be deployed to the public. The Nintendo DS was programmed in C++. After the software had been programmed, it was tested with four children and myself to make up the five-piece Samba Band pilot group. Although their performance was successful, two minor corrections were made. One was that the performance bar asked for the note to be played at the beginning of the performance block and not in the middle, making it more in line with standard musical notation, and secondly, the colours needed to be altered to become more distinct. The first full test of the software took place at FACT, a multimedia arts facility in Liverpool, as part of the Space Invaders Game and Arts Festival. The workshop featured 20 participants, 10 children and their accompanying adults. The software itself was a success and was easily understood. The workshop was only let down by poor quality audio leads which continued to malfunction and in doing so segmented the workshop. This aside, the new musicians were not only successful in learning and rehearsing a piece of music, but performing it to an audience of the public that very same day. Okay. Let's shake up. A go go. The research itself has now been sponsored in part by Marshall Amplification by way of several microamps allowing for mobility. The once static chiptune samba band can now be a marching samba band. The super chiptune samba band will also now be used in several public events such as the BBC Blast Weekend in Bury St Edmunds, Auburn Music Festival, Ipswich Music Day and several more, allowing for more musical novices to immediately take part in musical performance. Interestingly enough, this research, which forms part of my reflective practice, has actually now led me in a different direction. Once primarily concerned with musical instruments, my main focus in my professional practice is now that of music educational software. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's very yeah. really good. Uh, what's, what's your favourite bit so far? Um, what, do you what do you like about it? Well, uh, I like it when, when everybody goes, dance, dance, dance. That's the 
like the noise. 